I'm back is Captain Cowboy here with another video, and we're playing Guns of Glory today. It's been a long time coming, but we are back, ladies and gentlemen. So let's go ahead and take a look at some of the latest updates that I've missed out on, but want to go ahead and touch on and what this means for Guns of Glory, what this means for everyone, and just give you my honest opinions on it from what I've heard from my friends who are still playing and buying the new items. So version 3.0 came out a couple weeks ago. And it comes out with a brand new cross-server alliance battle called Blood War. So I haven't yet played this. I haven't seen it. I haven't heard about it. Um, so I can't really speak on this. But this should be good. This is something new. It's something fresh to keep everyone motivated. Some of the biggest takeaways in order to you know, see what the success of this new event is going to be like. Is to see one, what are the rewards for playing this game? What, are, what is the cost of playing this game? So, is the reward going to outweigh the cost? Now, it doesn't necessarily need to outweigh the cost because you're expecting some kind of enjoyment. However, what we saw with Ultimate Alliance Campaign a lot was that these games just weren't that enjoyable. You know, you're going in, you're playing it, you're spending a lot of gold, and you're not getting anything out of it. You get a little bit of fun, you know, it's pretty nice to go around and just zero people, but it just gets boring, it's very repetitive. So you have to keep things fresh. You have to keep things changing. It has to be a changing environment. And Ultimate Alliance campaign just wasn't that. So if we can get a changing environment in Blood War, you know, that'd be really nice for everyone. If the rewards are actually useful, like if we could get some gear pieces, if we could get, you know, some resource, a lot of resources or a lot of gold out of it, that would be awesome. It's got to be something to entice you to want to spend. Because if there's nothing to entice you to want to spend, it's going to turn into Ultimate Alliance campaign where you just don't do it but with like blood war if it's like something you just gotta do because the rewards are amazing everyone from free to play to pay to win they're all getting something out of it then it's worth it then we have master set equipment so we'll go ahead and we'll take a look at that and the new master set is the new highest gear so when we take a look all right Sorry, it was just taking a little while to load. Okay, well, for some reason we can't pull it up. Here we go. Master Set is the now new best in slot above Sun King. So, because I have yet to update my game, it's not showing up. But I'm estimating that's going to cost... Um, I haven't actually bought it myself, so I can't speak on it. But it's about two to two thousand five hundred dollars just to purchase the gear set. Then to enhance it to plus five, it's probably going to be another two thousand five hundred dollars. Maybe it's another thousand dollars or so, um, depending on where you're coming from. So all in about five thousand dollars, and we're getting about a two hundred percent stat increase over a Sun King plus five for this gear set. So the gear is actually really solid. Um, and the best part about this new gear set is it comes with a new package interface that allows you to choose how much you want to spend. This is something we have in Iron Throne, and it's really nice. It doesn't force you into buying something that you don't want. You're allowed to buy whatever you want. So with that regard, that is absolutely amazing. Um, but, you know, percentages from this gear is awesome. Now we also have something in the Hall of War, so we'll have to go find the hall of war here and the hall of war has something now called um library stats so i actually don't know where i'm looking for when it comes to this but basically there's a new stat system that you could get kind of like our glory banners that we were getting um to the best of my knowledge from what i've heard about this but it's going to allow you to further increase your stats. You know, you're getting a little bit more out of the game. And just something else that you can spend your money on. It's just something, because if you leave the game too stagnant, no one's going to like it. Now, I quit because it was just moving too fast. And that's also another issue that you're going to have with this, especially with a high cost. Now, if you are already on top and you want to stay on top, things are getting expensive. But some other things that came out of this these updates is that it's a lot easier to five star some of our heroes like Kitty, Benoit, uh, Blanchett, and Durangatang. Um, they're a lot easier to obtain. 
their cards and to go ahead and um, get them up to five stars. So that's that's good, but here's the issue with that. The issue with getting them to be cheaper is that you're, that means that those that are, are on top and they already have these heroes, well, now they have to get new heroes that have some kind of benefit over them. So like Oliver Cromwell, like we talked about him before, these guys aren't new. So it's not really like we're getting anything new that to replace these heroes that have a much higher percentage stat. This is just close, closing the gap up between the people who spend a little bit and the people who spend a lot. This is not what you want to have. You know, it sounds nice for those who are in this mid-tier, but those who are in the high tier, it's forcing you to buy anything you can get so that you could, ha you could be number one in your kingdom. So with this regard, it's not good because you don't want to have to be forced into buying the only thing possible to get your stats up. Now, what this means for us is Every single person in your kingdom who's free to play or even tries is going to have at least 1,000% stats now. Everyone. So this requires all of our pay-to-win players to go ahead and get this new Master Gear. It requires you to get that new library of stats. So, all together, I think Guns Glory is like finally listening, but they're not doing anything right. They're not doing what we need them to do. So that regard, I'm not a fan of this update. Just because, like, you can't close the gap completely. And that's what they're doing. They're forcing you into spending more. And they're forcing the mid-tiers into spending so that they can close that gap. But the mid-tiers are never going to be able to compete. The high-tier spenders are never going to be able to stop spending. It's always going to be something. But, ladies and gentlemen, if you enjoy this video and want to see more videos like it, if you want me to continue making more Guns of Glory videos, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Let me know. Drop a comment down below. And if you want to try out Iron Throne, which is a much better game, we've got Kingdom 53 opening up shortly. And I've got a special playtest for anyone who is interested. And you can come play with me and as, as I start a new account in this new kingdom. Hit me up in any of the ways in the description of this video. And we'll get you set up. And it'll be a great experience. Thank you all for watching.